Elizabeth II, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary, born April 21, 1926 a, is Queen of the United Kingdom and 15 other Commonwealth realms. b. Elizabeth was born in Mayfair, London, as the first child of the Duke and Duchess of York, later King George VI and Queen Elizabeth. Her father ascended the throne on the abdication of his brother King Edward VIII in 1936, from which time she was the heir presumptive. She was educated privately at home and began to undertake public duties during the Second World War, serving in the Auxiliary Territorial Service. In 1947 she married Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, a former Prince of Greece and Denmark, with whom she has four children, Charles, Prince of Wales, Anne, Princess Royal, Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex. When her father died in February 1952, Elizabeth became head of the Commonwealth and Queen Regnant of seven independent Commonwealth countries, the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Pakistan, and Ceylon. She has reigned as a constitutional monarch through major political changes, such as devolution in the United Kingdom, accession of the United Kingdom to the European communities, Brexit, Canadian patriation, and the decolonization of Africa. Between 1956 and 1992, the number of her realms varied as territories gained independence, and as realms, including South Africa, Pakistan, and Ceylon, renamed Sri Lanka, became republics. Her many historic visits and meetings include a state visit to the Republic of Ireland and visits to or from five popes. Significant events have included her coronation in 1953 and the celebrations of her silver, golden, and diamond jubilees in 1977, 2002, and 2012, respectively. In 2017, she became the first British monarch to reach a sapphire jubilee. She is the longest-lived and longest-reigning British monarch. She is the longest-serving female head of state in world history, and the world's oldest living monarch, longest-reigning current monarch, and oldest and longest-serving current head of state. Elizabeth has occasionally faced Republican sentiments and press criticism of the royal family, in particular after the breakdown of her children's marriages, her annus horribilis in 1992, and the death in 1997 of her former daughter-in-law Diana, Princess of Wales. However, support for the monarchy in the United Kingdom has been and remains consistently high, as does her personal popularity. Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor was born at 240, GMT, on April 21, 1926, during the reign of her paternal grandfather, King George V. Her father, the Duke of York, later King George VI, was the second son of the king. Her mother, the Duchess of York, later Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, was the youngest daughter of Scottish aristocrat the Earl of Strathmore and Kinghorn. She was delivered by caesarean section at her maternal grandfather's London house, 17 Bruton Street, Mayfair. 2. She was baptized by the Anglican Archbishop of York, Cosmo Gordon Lang, in the private chapel of Buckingham Palace on 29 May, 3 c, and named Elizabeth after her mother, Alexandra after George V's mother, who had died six months earlier, and Mary after her paternal grandmother. 5. Called Lilibet by her close family, 6 based on what she called herself at first, seven, she was cherished by her grandfather George V, and during his serious illness in 1929 her regular visits were credited in the popular press and by later biographers with raising his spirits and aiding his recovery. 8. Elizabeth's only sibling, Princess Margaret, was born in 1930. The two princesses were educated at home under the supervision of their mother and their governess, Marion Crawford. 9. Lessons concentrated on history, language, literature, and music. 10. Crawford published a biography of Elizabeth and Margaret's childhood years entitled The Little Princesses in 1950, much to the dismay of the royal family. 11. The book describes Elizabeth's love of horses and dogs, her orderliness, and her attitude of responsibility. 12. Others echoed such observations. Winston Churchill described Elizabeth when she was two as a character. She has an air of authority and reflectiveness astonishing in an infant. 13. Her cousin Margaret Rhodes described her as a jolly little girl, but fundamentally sensible and well-behaved. 14. During her grandfather's reign, Elizabeth was third in the line of succession to the British throne, behind her uncle Edward and her father. Although her birth generated public interest, 
she was not expected to become queen, as Edward was still young and likely to marry and have children of his own, who would precede Elizabeth in the line of succession. 15. When her grandfather died in 1936 and her uncle succeeded as Edward VIII, she became second in line to the throne, after her father. Later that year, Edward abdicated, after his proposed marriage to divorce socialite Wallace Simpson provoked a constitutional crisis. 16. Consequently, Elizabeth's father became king, and she became heir presumptive. If her parents had had a later son, he would have been heir apparent and above her in the line of succession, which was determined by male preference primogeniture at the time. 17. Elizabeth received private tuition in constitutional history from Henry Martin, vice provost of Eton College, 18, and learned French from a succession of native-speaking governesses. 19. A Girl Guides Company, the first Buckingham Palace Company, was formed specifically so she could socialize with girls her own age. 20. Later, she was enrolled as a sea ranger. 19. In 1939, Elizabeth's parents toured Canada and the United States. As in 1927, when they had toured Australia and New Zealand, Elizabeth remained in Britain, since her father thought her too young to undertake public tours. 21. She looked tearful as her parents departed. 22. They corresponded regularly, 22, and she and her parents made the first Royal Transatlantic Telephone call on 18th of May. 21. In September 1939, Britain entered the Second World War. Lord Hailsham 23 suggested that Princesses Elizabeth and Margaret should be evacuated to Canada to avoid the frequent aerial bombing. This was rejected by their mother, who declared, The children won't go without me. I won't leave without the king. And the king will never leave. 24. The princesses stayed at Balmoral Castle, Scotland, until Christmas 1939, when they moved to Sandringham House, Norfolk. 25. From February to May 1940, they lived at Royal Lodge, Windsor, until moving to Windsor Castle, where they lived for most of the next five years. 26. At Windsor, the princesses staged pantomimes at Christmas in aid of the Queen's Wool Fund, which bought yarn to knit into military garments. 27. In 1940, the 14-year-old Elizabeth made her first radio broadcast during the BBC's Children's Hour, addressing other children who had been evacuated from the cities. 28. She stated, we are trying to do all we can to help our gallant sailors, soldiers, and airmen, and we are trying, too, to bear our own share of the danger and sadness of war. We know, every one of us, that in the end all will be well. 28. In 1943, Elizabeth undertook her first solo public appearance on a visit to the Grenadier Guards, of which she had been appointed colonel the previous year. 29. As she approached her 18th birthday, Parliament changed the law so she could act as one of five councillors of state in the event of her father's incapacity or absence abroad, such as his visit to Italy in July 1944. 30. In February 1945, she was appointed as an honorary second subaltern in the Auxiliary Territorial Service with a service number of 230,873. 31. She trained as a driver and mechanic and was given the rank of honorary junior commander, female equivalent of captain at the time five months later. 32-33-34. At the end of the war in Europe, on Victory in Europe Day, Elizabeth and Margaret mingled anonymously with the celebratory crowds in the streets of London. Elizabeth later said in a rare interview, we asked my parents if we could go out and see for ourselves. I remember we were terrified of being recognized, I remember lines of unknown people linking arms and walking down Whitehall, all of us just swept along on a tide of happiness and relief. 35.